guys, welcome back to Captain Jasper. If you're new here, I'm Laura, an animal behaviour and welfare graduate specialising in bunny behaviour. Today we're going to talk about animal nutrition. No, not animal nutrition. Rabbit nutrition. Rabbit nutrition. Rabbit <laughs> <laughs> nutrition. Animal nutrition. Today I'm, <laughs> today I'm going to talk about today I'm going to talk about bunny nutrition. A rabbit's diet consists of mainly fibre which is mostly fed through hay. A rabbit should be fed a minimum of 80% high quality hay. 10% greens and herbs, 5% pellets and 5% treats. The nutritional requirements of rabbits will vary with the age, breed, health and lifestyle of any rabbit. And just like in humans and other animals, rabbits require seven essential nutrients to ensure they stay happy and healthy. These nutrients are water, carbohydrates, protein, vitamins, minerals, fats or lipids, and fiber. Fiber is the biggest part of their diet, with the majority of a rabbit's carbohydrate requirements being met in the form of fiber. A bunny's main source of fiber should be fed in the form of hay. There are two types of fiber, soluble and insoluble. Soluble provides your bunny with a form of nutrition and includes foods such as oats, broccoli, strawberries and many more. Insoluble fiber helps with gut motility. Many foods contain both insoluble and soluble fiber, with rabbits having a special digestive tract that is able to expel soluble fibre and retain soluble fibre for microbial fermentation. A rabbit's vitamin and mineral needs can be met through feeding a variety of rabbit-safe greens, veg and fruit. Stay to the end where I will be listing rabbit-safe options. Many commercial pellets will provide the needed minerals and vitamins a bunny needs. However, they should not be relied upon, as an excess of pellets can lead to obesity and illness. Instead, pellets should be fed sparingly, alongside with dark leafy greens, vegetables and healthy treats. Vitamins A, C, D and E are unable to be synthesised within a rabbit's body, making it essential to provide food with these in. Vitamins B and K are synthesised in adequate amounts. These vitamins are absorbed when your bunny eats their secretrove poos, and it is a vital part of your bunny's nutrition. Although bunnies have low fat requirements, they, like any animal, still require it as a supply for energy and are an important structure of cell membranes. Rabbits only require around 3% of fat in their diet. However, lactating does will generally require more. Perhaps one of the most overlooked of all the nutrients, but by far just as crucial to health and well-being as the rest of them. Water intake for rabbits can vary, again with, with your bunny's age and lifestyle, but also will change due to environment and temperature. An adult rabbit typically consumes 100 to 600 milliliters of water per day. This is the same as a small dog can drink. Water is essential as it helps carry nutrients to cells and oxygen to the brain. Water is also important as it helps flush out toxins and waste. Inadequate, wa Inadequate water consumption has been linked to rabbits developing urolithis, a condition where calcium builds up in the bladder, causing a painful sludge or stones within the urinary tract. Providing your bunny with unlimited fresh water in a bowl has been seen to prevent this issue, as it helps flush out excess calcium from the bladder. Water should always be available and provided in a clean, non-tip bowl. Bottles can be used alongside bowls, but are not recommended on their own, as they have been proven to restrict the amount of water a rabbit can ob obtain from them in comparison to bowls. Proteins are compounds made up of amino acids. They play a role in many cellular, cellular functions. Protein helps build and repair tissue and cells within the body, including bone, hair, muscle, nails and skin. 
Proteins are required in the diet for essential and non-essential amino acids. Most foods contain a variety of nutrients in varying quantities. Some food will be better source of protein and some will contain more carbohydrates. This is why a balanced diet is essential. As just mentioned, variety is key, but this is especially important in foods that are high in calcium and oxalates. I have put together a list of some buddy safe foods and their nutrient contents. So I've just listed three of the bunny's favorite greens. Um, and what I've done here is basically just typed into Google the romaine, le romaine lettuce followed by nutrition. And then it will come up with this lovely chart that shows you exactly what a typical lettuce has in it. As said before, just introduce any greens that are unfamiliar to the rabbit slowly. And um, don't feed too much cabbage or broccoli in one go as it can cause gas and bloating. I will be doing another video explaining exactly what I feed my bunnies in a week and giving a few more tips on some bunny safe greens, healthy treats and forage mix that you can feed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to tune in next time when we'll be talking about different bunny breeds.